back with another little quick hot 250 upgrade video one of the places the bike is lacking and if you own one you'll realize this pretty quickly is the battery that they give you it's this no name uh, lead acid battery you have to put the uh, acid in when you get and it does not last very long so you have a couple options you can upgrade to a lithium iron phosphate battery only problem with that is it's going to be a hundred dollars or more usually so do you want to put that kind of money into a bike like this eh, you might but kind of the middle of the road solution is a sealed battery like this no maintenance these are also known as agm or absorbed glass matte batteries and this one is smaller as you can see slightly not quite as wide as the battery that's going to replace so take up some of that slack so it doesn't slide back and forth i'll be just putting some little foam strips next to it but it has a lot more power than the other one and the part number for this is ytz7s that's the size chrome battery you can get it on amazon it's really only about 30 dollars so I thought I'd give it a shot, try to keep this bike relatively inexpensive, and hopefully really help it out. At the same time, I'm going to be upgrading the cables for the battery. That's another thing. You can tell when you're trying to start it, the starter is not getting the voltage that it should be. So you've got this main wire here that runs from the regulator, or not the regulator, the solenoid to the starter. You've got the negative battery cable that's awfully small. So I'm just going to upgrade, beef up all the wires on here a little bit and make my own, custom make my own wiring using a heavier gauge cable. And hopefully that will help with nice, quick, powerful starts from the new battery. All right, so I got the new battery installed. Um, basically, I put a little Velcro on the back of it and put this little rubber spacer on the side here to kind of take up the space from the old battery. I've run new cables. These wires coming off right here are just run over to this connection for a battery charger. But if, you, if you'll if you notice, coming off the battery, I've got very large 6-gauge, this blue wire, 6-gauge cable. Runs into the solenoid. Alanoid solenoid runs a, another large 6-gauge cable. Runs up over here. Connects to the starter. So that's what will complete the circuit for the starter. For the ground wire... I didn't have any more just large cable long enough sitting around. So basically what I did is I left the stock ground wire that runs over to the, there's a bolt on the other side of the engine where it grounds out. And then I took the wire that I took off from the starter wire and I cut it to the same length. So I basically doubled, just doubled up the wire to make a larger ground path. So this should help a lot. Um, quicker starts transfer all that energy from the new more powerful battery to the starter better and it's one thing I noticed about this bike is that it would the starter wasn't always fully engaging didn't seem like it was getting enough power so hopefully that helps it out so this is a popular upgrade for the Hawk just because like a lot of things on here they kind of cut corners on the wiring size and the quality of the battery that's what you get when you buy a thousand dollar motorcycle so maybe this helps you out something you can just do if you're bored one day kind of help out make the bike last a little or make it start a little bit easier all right like it if it helped you out leave a comment if you have a question subscribe for more and we'll see you next time